Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. And how can you elevate the reach of your media plan? Well, according to a new analysis from Nielsen, you can amplify your media plan significantly with AMFM radio. And it's urgent to focus on this because of some alarming news from Nielsen. Their data finds that if you take the same TV and digital campaign you were running last year, same weight, same budget, and run it this year, your reach is going to be 12% less than the prior year. So here's the media buy, kind of a classic national plan with allocations for broadcast TV at 50%. 15% for cable, 10% for connected TV, 25% for digital, and nothing for AM, FM radio. So that campaign, just repeat it, rinse and repeat it, it's going to deliver 12% less consumers. So what, what's the solution here? So maybe one of the ways to replace all of that lost linear TV reach is to allocate additional investment in the media plan to connect to TV and digital. So let's take a look. Can you actually grow incremental reach by allocating more money in your plan to connect to TV and digital? So courtesy of Nielsen Media Impact, what you have here are a bunch of different scenarios, different mixtures of linear TV and connected uh, TV and digital. So all the way to the left, we have a plan with 90% linear TV, 10% connected TV and digital. And then as you move left to right across the screen, we increase the allocation for digital and connected TV by 10 points and reduce the linear TV. So one of the fascinating things that you see is no matter how much additional weight you put on connected TV and digital, the reach doesn't go up. In fact, it stays exactly the same. So connected TV and digital, if you add more and more and more of it, it doesn't grow the reach. And then look what happens to the right-hand side of the screen. Once you get up to around 70, 80% of your plan to connected to TV and digital, the reach actually starts to go down. So connected TV does not seem to be that nirvana a uh, media solution to claw back all that lost linear TV reach. But according to Nielsen and their optimizers, comms point and Nielsen Media Impact, if you allocate 20% of your media plan to AM FM radio at the same budget, no budget increase, you will see a significant lift in your campaign reach. So what you have here are a variety of campaigns from very light on the left to light, medium, heavy, and very heavy to the right. The first line represents the campaigns that only have linear TV and digital and connected TV, no radio. The second line represents that allocation of 20% of the media plan to AM, FM radio for the same budget. The last line represents the lift in campaign reach due to that 20% AM FM radio allocation. So let's take a look at the light buys. It's astonishing. With a very small media campaign consisting of TV and digital, shifting just 20% of that budget to AM FM causes reach to explode, literally double or about 80%. Now for medium campaigns, you can expect to see uh, the addition of AM FM radio add 35 to 55% incremental reach, astonishing. And even with the big campaigns, carving out 20% to AM FM radio causes reach to go up by about 20 points. So that is really how radio elevates the media plan. But what is going on here? How is it that putting radio into these plans can, su can cause such a positive impact. Well, according to an ongoing analysis called Nielsen Comparable Metrics, 
The secret to what's happening is revealed when we look at ratings. So here we're looking at the relationship between radio ratings and linear TV ratings to the left. Back in 2018, among 1834s, TV decisively beat radio in rating by 20%. The ratios you're looking at here are simply the radio rating divided by the TV rating. But look what's happened among 1834 to the left of your screen. The relationship between the radio rating and the TV rating as the years have gone on have flipped. Today, radio's 1834 rating is 66% bigger than TV's. Look at 1849 in the middle of your screen. Back in 2018, the TV rating for 18 to 49 was about double that of radio. It has flipped. Radio now beats TV by 12% among 1849s. Look at 2554, we see the same pattern. In fact, probably in the next year or so, radio will beat TV in 2554 ratings. So this is why putting radio in the plan adds a lot of GRPs and a lot of reach and, a, and creates a lot of incremental reach. So now let's take the media plan that we've been reviewing and deconstruct it. Let's look at each portion of the plan, starting with the base TV buy, then the overlay of connected TV, then the overlay of digital, and lastly, putting in the 20% for AM, FM radio. So let's take a look at the linear TV base investment, generating a 55 reach, not so bad. And then when you overlay the connected TV, it's astonishing very little incremental reach is added, maybe a point or two. Put in the digital, now you're talking, you get six points of incremental reach due to that 20% digital allocation. But what, what happens when you put the radio in? Look at that, 14 points of incremental reach lift. That is twice the incremental reach lift of digital. So radio really elevates the media plan. Now, what about light TV viewers? Nielsen defines light TV viewers as Americans who spend less than two hours a day uh, listening, or excuse me, watching uh, linear television. A wise media planner once said, you can't solve your light TV viewer problem by buying more TV. So look all the way to the left of your screen. A huge TV investment here, half the budget in this allocation is for TV and it's only getting a 6% reach among light TV viewers. What about the addition of connected TV? Mm, a couple of extra reach points, three or four points. You're still missing 90% of the light TV viewers. You bring in the digital, now you're getting somewhere another 10 points of incremental reach, but still you're missing 80% of these light TV viewers. And then here comes radio, 30 points of incremental reach due to the addition of radio, which by the way, is two and a half times more incremental reach than was created by digital. So really radio superpower is the ability to reach significantly large amounts of light TV viewers. Now, one of the things that media planners look at as something called effective reach, consumers reach three or more times by a campaign. So to the left is the uh, three plus reach of a campaign without radio. To the right is the three plus effective reach of the campaign with radio, no budget increase. And that 20% allocation to radio generates a 17% increase in effective reach. Now, if radio's first superpower was generating big reach with light TV viewers, radio's second superpower is ability to generate increasing reach incrementally among younger demographics. So on this slide here, you have young to old, left to right. The gray bars represent that classic media plan with connected TV, digital, and TV, no radio. The blue bars represent the media plan with a 20% allocation to radio, but no increase in budget. And you can see in every single demographic, the addition of radio generates a massive increase in reach. But look at the pattern. 
as you move to the left, as you get younger, the incremental reach generated by radio just grows and grows and grows. So two big superpowers for radio, driving significant incremental reach with light TV viewers and among younger demographics. So the key findings here, the same national campaign of TV, connected TV and digital from that prior year is gonna deliver 12% less people. And contrary to popular belief, shifting more budget to connected TV and digital doesn't really generate any incremental reach. In fact, at a certain point, as you load more and more of the plan into digital and connected TV, the reach actually drops. But radio comes to the rescue with just a 20% allocation for AM FM radio, you can significantly increase the reach of any TV digital campaign with no increase in budget. And why is this occurring? How is this even possible? It's because AM FM has surprisingly strong audience data. It is beating TV 1834 in rating. AM FM radio is beating TV 1849 and closing in on TV among 2554 rating. It'll surpass TV probably at the current pace in the next year or two. So the addition of radio to the media plan generates massive reach lift among light TV viewers and younger demographics. So from a recommendation standpoint, do not be fooled. Connected TV hope is not a strategy. Assuming that connected TV can solve all of your linear TV woes is a fool's errand. Connected TV adds surprisingly small amounts of incremental reach to that base TV buy, especially among light TV viewers. Digital, on the other hand, does add modest amounts of reach. The 20% allocation of digital will give you six points of incremental reach, not bad, but 20% allocation to AM FM radio really jumps up the reach by 14 points, which is over two times the incremental reach of digital. And that gets you big lifts in light TV viewer reach and big lifts in younger demos. The audio active group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One is a full service national brand advisory offering media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services. We'll conduct third party measurement studies of brand lift, sales effect, search and site attribution, as well as creative testing. Each and every week, we publish a new audio insight on our blog. You can find it at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com. And when you're there, you can sign up to get the weekly audio case study sent directly to your email box. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share a lot of new Nielsen data on how AMFM radio elevates the media plan. Thanks so much.